Hello and welcome to my Hong Kong vlog, exploring this dynamic and vibrant city for the first time. My first day was spent on an all-nighter from my flight from Shanghai and reuniting with my friend after two months. We spent the most of our time around Victoria Harbour and took shelter in the air conditioning of the stunning K11 Art Mall. I hope that you'll enjoy this vlog as much as I enjoyed this trip. We've been going around this mall just like taking photos. It's got really pretty architecture. We were outside and we saw from up here, I literally took a photo, but basically we saw these people up here and we were like, how do we get here? Because we were in the mall and we couldn't find it. We finally made it. I was determined to come here. I was like, whatever it takes, I need to be on that viewing platform. And we made it. And I feel very accomplished. This is so exciting. I feel like a VIP. Wow. Look at that. Look at that cool view. I thought that was like someone swimming for a second, but it's not but i also have no idea what that is wait oh my god is it someone swimming am i going crazy am i seeing things okay i'm definitely seeing things getting our morning matcha fix at 2 p.m i got tiger nut oat milk because it was the free option and it's actually really yummy mm -mm. the sweatiest walk from the food place to peak tram i really hate walking here as someone who loves to walk it's just too sweaty but like it's not sunny which i don't like it's just really hot without the enjoyment of the sun shining on me it's okay right hand side and you go around and then marcus is seeing where we should sit based off tiktok yeah on the left hand side going down wow Apparently. look at that influence of tiktok on him no, oh, it's McDonald Road. I thought it was McDonald Road, like McDonald's. I haven't been introduced in this vlog yet. Okay, guys. I just backed into the person behind me with my big dogs on. Getting some flicks of Marcus, except he's just floating. His head's just floating. <laughs> you can't see it. Like, look at this. So funny, Marcus has been taking the same photo of the road for like the whole journey, but he's cooking something up. But it's just quite funny watching him interact with his surroundings. Melville. Very happy with my purchases though. We've been walking around and going to a couple of shops. I hope you can hear me over the sound of the traffic as well. The tram earlier was so narrow and also really like low down. Like it was double decker so it was tall but it was low down. Like why am I having to bend down? Like imagine if I was like a six foot three man. I would be bumping my head a lot here. I bump my head a lot here on like the metro and stuff but um anyways. Marcus and I have begun our third day in Hong Kong having lots of matcha and taking photos in random streets in Hong Kong and I don't know if I'm making this up but I swear whenever I take photos in public like the place will be empty and then as soon as I start taking photos like everyone will flock to that area which I think is a really interesting phenomenon. I feel like I haven't got a pick pick that I like so far on this trip and also it's literally disgustingly hot here and so towards like later in the day my makeup has melted off and my hair is all frizzy I don't even want to be like out never mind taking photos of myself because I feel so disgusting and sweaty so that's why we're strategically taking the photos 
now. Ooh, I like this one. Basically everything I'm wearing is stuff that I got yesterday. So like this Hong Kong t-shirt, very fitting. And then just some basic shorts from Brandy. I stopped at this one jewelry shop and it was very successful because I made it a mission of mine to get good jewelry whilst I'm on this trip, life hack for the girls or the guys. If you're getting jewelry, get stainless steel because then it won't rust, like regardless of the price point-ish. Like I got these one pair of gold hoops from Brandy like a year ago and that, oh my gosh, I thought you were just some random guy. <laughs> Six pounds and I wear them all the time and they never turn green. And then I've got jewelry which costs like several times that price and it just turned green. I'm literally dripping in sweat, it's actually disgusting. Like, it looks so cloudy, so you like go outside and like mentally you're like, yeah, like it's not hot. And then you realize after like two minutes of being on the street that you're fully wet with sweat. It's okay, we're gonna go on the metro, which is air conditioned, and then we're gonna go to the museum and it'll be nice and cold there. Yesterday, I made the mistake of having my hair down and then it was all like a frizz bomb. I put it up today and this was the move this was the move ladies and gentlemen <laughs> no, no, i drew the line at very mindful very demure it's giving vtech your star but with infinite aura and oh my god i'm so good oh my god i have brain roll like i get it but also like i don't get it marcus do you know why their oyster cards are called octopus cards why, why are they called octopus cards because their metro goes under the sea under the sea <laughs> Right. Our ride has arrived in Tesla. Tesla. Oh. We've made it to the museum. Um, I basically left my hot cocoa glossier bomb.com in the Uber and it's really upsetting because it's like I, I need that <laughs> like I can't live without it Marcus has contact with the uber driver he doesn't speak English but like it's uber support fingers crossed I will get it back because I don't know what I'd do without it I'm in the M plus museum first thing we did was take photos with the window haven't viewed any actual art as of yet but we will be doing so now London, so take my word for it. We're currently walking down the steps of the mid-level escalators. That's the escalator. Rumor has it that this is the longest escalator in the world. Like, obviously it's like got sections, right? Because like, it's like, it's like broken off by the road. Also, literally everyone here is going to the gym. I'm like getting FOMO. 